Hello. So, uh... Time's come here. So, there's an AC that I wasn't exactly planning to use for this. I was hoping not to use for this. Um, quite frankly, because it's dirty as all crap. Um, so this is the Matrix Overdrive. Um, it's basically just a flat-out Avalon reference in an AC. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, basically a ridiculously high defense and pretty much completely overwhelming offense. It's, um, it is specifically designed as a boss breaker, more or less. Um, mostly just in the form of the front sense. Um, while the left arm bazooka thing and LX cannon thing works pretty well, it really doesn't quite have that utter vaporizer potential that this thing does. So it is a mix of, um... It is a mix of the LX Cannon Tank, a Burn Tank, and a Selena Tank at once. Its whole thing is just... Not... just less than subtly, completely destroying the crap out of the other thing. So... Let's go ahead and give this a go. Uh, this was loosely based off the Neon Might from Last Raven. Um... Actually, uh, re uh, went and tested that uh, out of curiosity against this thing. Um, just, just know how it would go. And uh, the Neon Might didn't do so well. Like I said, it's loosely based. So here's how it goes. It gets close, it pops out the Selenas, it can tank those bazooka rounds, and then from there it's just off to the races. As soon as it hits a napalm rocket, it's over. Because between the LX cannons, Selenas, and the um, everything else going on here, it's too much. I mean, it's once it gets in close range, it is... it's just too late. It's one weakness is super long range and, um, and lightweight ACs. Uh, well, I guess that's two weaknesses now, isn't it? Um, but no, it's... Like I said, it is specifically made for this purpose. Like, when there's an AC that nothing else is able to beat through any subtlety or whatever else, um, within the limitations of this game, this thing is ridiculous. So, uh, yeah. Two large laser cannons, two sources of napalm rockets, and, um, well, that. But that's why I call it the vaporizer tank. It will overheat anything. Uh, there's, quite frankly, it, it, like you see there. I mean, look at this heat. Look at that heat output. There, there's nothing that can, that can potentially withstand that kind of heat output. It doesn't matter how tuned for cooling you are, it's just... Too much. So, like I said, it's very situational. Uh, it's very breaking this AC esque. Um, one thing I did try to do, actually, several things I tried to do, was to go back and use builds that were a bit more subtle. I had one that was kind of semi successful uh, using uh, high effect DCM pods and double shotguns. Um, what that relied on was uh, more or less. 25 to 40 percent chance of um, of the ECM effect proccing past all of this guy's ECM defense. At which point, um, man, look at that shutdown. Um, at, basically, at that point, it was uh, it was just a situation where the AI had to get around to its side, and if it did that, they would constantly circle around, and he would just get free hits with those shotguns, and it worked. It worked very effectively. Um, Thing is, it it only worked about forty percent of the time, like I said. So that one was just scrapped right after that. Also, if you're wondering about the music, it's all from Avalon. I uh you know, recently I found out that there's apparently remixes to some of these themes, so got all excited about it. But yeah, so uh, so yeah, I had some minor success with that. I had a pistol build based, I would say about halfway based off the handgun dirtiness that Royal put in the other day, because I noticed that that one had some had some decent potential going, but it didn't have the armor to survive the bazooka onslaught. So because in one way or another, it will get a few hits. There's no way to make an AI that will just avoid everything. Um, actually, I was wondering about the AI programming behind this um, uh, this Overlord here. Because it has no attack or defense strategy whatsoever, but it has a complete, uh, a complete situational awareness. So it seems like it's made for a pretty effective dodger, but even then, it still can't dodge everything. 
So eventually, something hits it, and that's, uh, again, that's where this one comes in. There's no subtlety to it, there's no finesse, there's just completely breaking the other guy. So we can do this all day. Um, he will win every time. Like, with, without the AI derping out, it's just gonna win every time. So it's pretty much a hard counter to this thing. Like I said, I tried to do other things. Um, I tried a, uh, like a high-speed uh, pod build. I, I tried a whole bunch of different stuff. But once all was said and done, this is kind of the counter to it. I wish that there were more counters to different things, but, you know, it's just... comes with the territory, I suppose. Because, yeah, it's basically a never-ending circle. There's no way to make a completely perfect AC. Um, because, yeah, this thing, for example, gets beaten by the Matrix Overdrive. That thing would likely get beaten by more likely a sniper or pistol build or something like that. Or a melee build. Oh, I accidentally paused it. Um, which then that one would get beaten by midweight, which get, would get beaten by a heavyweight, which would then get beaten by a tank again, which would get beaten by a light again. So it's just... It's the circle of parts. You know. It is what it is. But, uh... There you go. So... Uh, just kind of as an extra in case you're wondering. Uh, how the, uh, how the Neon Might did. The answer is not too great. Um, like I said, this is the one that it's kind of loosely based on. Um, and the funny part is, with, uh, some AI derpiness, it, this one potentially can beat, uh, the Matrix Overdrive, but, um, nine times out of ten it won't. Again, it's just jankiness with the AI that does this kind of stuff. But, uh, one way or another, even if that other one got used during the, uh, you know, the boss tournament, as it were, I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have really counted because it needs to be two wins in order to pull it off. So this one would have had to do it. Because this is the only other one that was around, and I actually didn't even know it was around. I thought both of these were gone. So, anyway, they're around again. Actually, I was curious to try uh, Trichray it as well, but... Um, when I did that in testing, <laughs> yeah, no. Trick rate stood no chance whatsoever. And so, uh, little one appears to want to say hi. <laughs> so, it comes closer than many others, but this thing's defense is trash, so... At any rate, uh, there you go. Um, you know, part two. Uh, this is the up- I probably should have mentioned this at the very beginning, but yeah, no, this is the updated version of the Overlord, uh, with the, uh, the couple tweaks that were recommended. Uh, he wanted to switch the legs and switch the episode- oh, my goodness. Well, hi there! Okay, little one wants to go play. 